Well, it's windy, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day before Memorial Day weekend, or before Memorial Day, I should say. Um, Gil stopped by. He's over there. I wanted to know if I wanted to go looking for artifacts. And, well, of course, I'm sure you all know how I answered that. So, anyways, we found a few things. Um, I'll show you later in a roundup. If I find anything exciting out here, this is a really weird looking rock. If I find anything exciting out here, though, I'll let y'all know. Well, here's something pretty cool happened across while Gil and I were talking. I can't take it with me because it would be very illegal, but this is an eagle feather. We have a lot of bald eagles out here. Beautiful. The markings in it. It's just beautiful. God, I hate to leave it, but I have no choice. Wanted to make sure you guys saw it, though. Any Native American Indian brave out here 3,000 years ago would be dead. now go ahead to go home um, I thought I'd do a short recap of the things that I found today there's some cool things and then there's some just stuff so let's take a quick look at what I found today out there here we have four pieces that are are pretty cool on the left here that's a triangular point it's missing a little piece off the edge corner there and a little piece off the tip but it's a triangular uh, it's a triangular arrowhead and is is pretty nice you think it's pretty nice shadow yeah she thinks it is too then this is again it's a broken point it would have been a small one it's almost complete a little bit broken here on the where my thumbnail is there the notches are both there so that's a nearly complete point don't find a lot of really good nice uh, native american pottery out at this particular site we do find some things uh this piece is a nice shard uh, you can see cord marking all over it and there's a punk tape where a stick or part of the or a piece of uh, say maybe a bird uh, feather uh, shaft was stuck into the wet clay as a decorative motif before it was actually fired now curiously about this to me is that usually the uh, the cord marking was on the outside of the vessel but on this one, this plane surface seems to be what would have been on the outside. Because if you look at the curvature of this particular little shard, you see how it's how it's curving? That would have put the this patterned sat part on the inside of the rim. This is a, a rim shard, by the way. Another piece, a little bit different kind of pottery. Pretty cool nonetheless, but this one's my favorite. These pieces over here are uh, ut utilized uh, uh, debtage, as they would say, but it is uh, uh, flakes that were from tool production that were used after, you know, as an afterthought. Like this one is a blade. It would have been used on either edge for cutting. Um, this one with the rounded end is a small uh, thumb knife. This one also with the rounded end is also a thumb knife. Not sure what they were doing here. Come to a point much like an arrowhead would, but it's unifacial. It could have still been, uh, I don't know, it could have still probably been used as an arrowhead, but I don't know that, what that, that that's what's being done with it. Try this again. These caramel colored pieces, I really like this kind of stone. Uh, this was... Uh, knocked off from a core but they didn't do anything with it other than it you know it's it shows that it's been napped this one is also that same kind of stone this is pressure flaked along the edge so it would have actually been a thumb knife or scraper so put that over with these ones okay then up here these are all just flakes of chert from tool production they were not utilized they were cast offs and you find this stuff by the hundreds 
if not more. There are just some pretty stones up here that I found that I really liked. And then we've got a, some kind of little jawbone here. I don't know if these are if that's ancient or not. Gil found this piece of bone. Again, I don't know if that's ancient or not. I hadn't noticed that. That hole in it looks like it was purposely made. So I'll have to give that a little more examination. And then some pieces of lead up here, which I'll talk about in another video. So that's, uh, that's what I found today. And pretty cool. It was a productive day. See y'all later.